let's play Skyrim. Today we're finally going to continue our mission, our quest. I want to do this for ages. Finally I get to play Skyrim again. I just hope it doesn't crash when I exit went down there. We're heading to Kinsgrove because our mission is to locate the dragon burial site. Uh, we've spoken to Delphine and uh, she believes that dragons are coming back to life so now we're going to go look at uh, dragon grave and see if there's still a dragon there. And I think we can all guess what the result of that is. Don't crash now, just please, hmm? please, please, please. It's lagging, it's working, it's going. Don't seem to I be used crashing. To be an adventurer like you. Okay, we seem to be safe. Don't look at the water. That's when it seemed to crash the most, so we are not looking at the water. So we're supposed to go that's where we came from. This direction, isn't it? Double check. Yeah, that's right. So it's just up this hill. Uh, we can hear the dragon already. We don't really need to go up there. We know, we know the dragon's alive. We can hear it from here. We have a cloak on and our warm clothes. And we've just been inside where it's warm. Uh, wrong button. That's what I wanted. Exposure plus nine. Yeah, so we're quite warm. Here is frigid and deadly, but. No, you don't want to go up there. The dragon, it's attacking. Yeah, we can hear it. Where is it? Uh, we can see it. It's there. Why would we ask where it is? Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon map. I don't know didn't. what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Well, I guess it's late. So just to find out. I think there's still people in there. Don't 
learn a new language in a day. Give me some time. Oh. I'm going to check that out. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Let's hide. Dragon is useless. Let's uh Soldier seems to have tried his luck. Oh, 
will check it this, thank you. Still not expire. Uh, 10. 15. Damage 15. I always look at the weight, I think it's damage. Is that good? Is that like high? See. Damage 10, 9, 15. Because spears are traditionally. What? Why is there a naked man here? Soldier, but yes, thank you. Let's try to spin strike. It's not that bad. I like that idea though. You can dragon slayer with a spear. I'm gonna play my next build. So Huh. Okay, it still thinks I have to put arrows. Let's see. Eight, ten, do that. These don't crash. Thank you. Let's try to crash there. Sixty. Oh my god. Damage ten. There we go. Now we can go, guys. Now we can just do it. Not too much of a dragon slayer right now. She's doing all the work. I'm just running around doing it. Time to bring out the healing spell. Oh, heal, 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 for goodness sakes. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Why can't we have one handed blows? That would be nice. Yeah. And how would that work? One handed crossbow. It's to be a real fight, then. Again with the flames, and the burning and the dying. You're a fire breathing dragon, I'm someone wearing a fur coat. Yeah. Oh, up to you. Again with that, I think I'll just uh, take a quick potion. There we go. Don't want to die now, that would be stupid. Let's go 
gotta... Never mind. <coughs> One more. There we go. I better not die during the cutscene. Oh, so close to dying. I have literally... That was close. Alright, give me a so. Is there a naked storm clock soldier here? Dragon. The dragon didn't undress him. So either he saw the dragon and his brain melted and decided to take all his clothes off, or the other storm clock soldier undressed him for some reason. I'll leave that to your imagination. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. Okay, so where are the dragons coming from? What are they doing here? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it! We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. I'm one of the last members of the me. Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Okay, the Blades. So who are the exactly. Blades? Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Okay, why would the Thalmor bring back dragons? Nothing solid makes sense. yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? It's just the general gist of things in this game. If something bad happens, blame the Thalmor. I almost have feeling sorry for them. Not that they're good people in any way, but not that bad. So, should we just... We walk up to them and ask. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Pretty sure you'll beat me to it. Okay. So, what's our current quest? Go back to Riverwood. That's far away. Um, maybe we should look into this, because I've been to Windhelm once before, and I got the, uh, the white... F the white file. Uh, file, I don't know how you pronounce that. 
and I got that quest, so we should perhaps go looking for that, because it shouldn't be too far away. Uh, oh, I haven't read some orders, some papers I got, I need to do that. That's in Whiterun, Golden Claw. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, to look into that. And some small quests. Mammoth Tusk we'll just keep looking for. Talk to Aventus Aretina and Windham. We'll do that. Uh, was it the Shrine of Azura? No, we've not done that. So first, we want to do this uh, the White File and talk to Aventus and Windham. Now, the White File is there. Which I think... I almost pressed the wrong button. I think uh, it's a way around, but we can get to Riverwood that way around. Press a bit colder up there. But I think we'll do that. It's not that much of a walk, actually. Just do it from wind down. So let's go see Aventus first, it's closest. Maybe we'll get a bit white file first. It's still day, so it's still good to travel. White file, bring it back to Windhelm and talk to Aventus then. Sounds like a good plan. Smithing stuff here. Some stuff. Which is somebody's property, so we won't steal it. Can we use this month? Yeah, we can. <laughs> no, no. Let's see. Iron ingot. Sure. Wet and cold icicle. Never seen that before. It requires ice wraith teeth. Wet and cold icicle. What can I do with that? Let's make one. Wet and cold icicle. Oh, that's strange. I'm not sure what mod would give me that either. Is there an axe here? Please let there be an axe. No axe. I really have to find an axe so I can get some wood. No axe. Do you know where Mining to find an axe? is hard work, but we pay a fair price for any ore you dig up. Yeah, we don't want to do that. wanted it to someone's farm that was supposed to be. Let's just go back to it now. Hopefully we can find an axe there this time. Or unless the game crashes on me. Please don't crash. I want to play Skyrim. Why is it so choppy? Is this the right way? It can't be. That must be the right way. No. I guess I came a different way. I can do the chopping this. It's so annoying. I have no clue what's making it happen. Look at that. It's just suddenly become so choppy, especially around the window. This is really weird. I have any idea what it can be, whether it's my mod load order or completing mods or something. Just please let me know because I want to get it fixed. Have you heard? I just want to sit down and play some Skyrim without you crashing into the desktop every X amount of minutes. Do you have some teleporting people though? Yes. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh. We weren't supposed to go to Windhelm. What do you need? Yeah? Now let's go to the right place. I kinda just wanna jump down here. And survive the fall. Well, let's not. Let's. We're supposed to roleplay this. That's it. I'm playing a role. And my. This woman will not just jump off the bridge. So let's walk around. We got a nickname for anyone who tried this with our story here in the window. Let's see, I think. 
became hungry before, so let's just have a look. Hungry. Health, stamina, regen lower. And magic and stamina. So stamina regen is low. So let's have some... Uh, do we have water? We do not have water, but we do have some... Rabbit stew. Could have a bit more, so maybe just have some... Let's have some salmon steak. I'm full egg. We're not thirsty anymore, so... Yeah, all good. We should check the water down here to see if we can fill our bottle. Let's so hope we can. Is this the what, right way, right? Yeah. Straight up. So we came from the left before. We came from Riverwood. Yeah, we should perhaps equip our spells again. All that flame. Like of goat. I used to skip them, but now that we actually need food, it has some purpose. Isn't there a skill or something? Um, drink from stream, check needs. Drink from stream. How do we fill bottles? Let's try that. There's a little quenched. Oh, that's good. About, uh, something about sneaking. Let's see, empty bottles here. No, they're, they're empty bottles. River water, there you go. So let's fill these bottles up. I think there was something about. Was it river water or some other water to give you diseases if you drink it? supposed to boil it first or so we can maybe try making a fire later and let's see if we can boil the water or something. But, I and there's a crazy guy there, a crazy high elf or some sort. Let's just burn him. Emerald necklace that's worth some money. Speaking of elves, here's a fun fact. Bretons are half elves. They are part uh, part Altmer, I think. Now, don't quote me on which elf race they're half, but they're half elves at least. Which explains why they have uh, magic abilities. It's through elven part. There's uh, today's fun fact. It's starting to go dark, is it? Yeah. It's getting late, so we should get up to our spot. Don't want to be wandering in the mountain in the dark, especially if the weather gets bad, because then we'll freeze pretty quick. We don't have any water that's should have perhaps spent some time getting some. We should be there soon enough, so we should be alright. Maybe we can just set up camp inside the uh, cabin. I 
just in case. I got some buff. Fortified persuasion, yeah, not this one. Oh, it's the rabbit stew. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Slightly tired, that's okay. Once we're done in the caves, we'll go back to it. Windhelm and sleeps in. Unless we set up a tent. It's still dark with Gwyndhelm, oh. can't really set up a tent. Oh. <laughs> No one says go to Winterhold to become a better mage, or tells me there's a mage college. I am not going there. Okay, it should be here. There. Caves. 